plates on your brain. Screw it up, boys. These RBGs be insane. Big brain, it's a part of your brain. Every time we hit Betty, it's already good game. Hey guys. Barndor here again, and we're back with another guide. This time, how to defend a base against rogues. Um, more specifically, how to defend your base against a uh, rogue trying to cap on you, uh, different scenarios that will help you to um, ba basically base it in RBGs. Now, this I'm on my Demon Hunter defending here, um, but this can be used by almost every class. The ideas here uh, can be used by... Rogues, hunters, warlocks, mages, anybody who's defending a base can use these ideas. Um, other classes may even just have a better toolkit to do so as well. So, disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. You can do everything perfect, and sometimes you will stu still lose your base. You can do everything perfect, everything just like I say here. Barndor, I followed your guide specifically. I did this, I did that, he pressed sap, I, I didn't train it, right? And you may still get capped on. There are some very, very good rogues out there that do some very, very tricky things. Um, they can drop a banner. Uh, they can drop a banner on there uh, when they before they sap you and then step on the banner. If they're a Night Fae rogue as well, um, they have increased movement speed. They're, this is not a 100% do this and you will not get capped on every time. So I just want you guys to know as a disclaimer, you will still get capped on sometimes. It's the way the game goes. This guide is to give you the best fighting chance to defend against these rogues. This is to give you the best percentage of chance. So let's get into some gameplay footage, guys. Um, starting off with our first clip, we've got a number of clips here, and uh, we've got a number of clips here today, and so you can see I'm starting off, I am sapped, uh, you can see if you look right here, I am sitting the sap, I am not trinketing, I'm not trinketing, okay, I see a rogue. The first thing you do, and I want to start this guide by telling you, the moment you are sapped, you need to be yelling for somebody to peel. Somebody needs to be mounted up, running at you the moment you get sapped. Do not try to 1v1 rogue. Do not think that, you, oh, you're just going to outplay him. Uh, do not try to kill him. He, uh, for the most part, he's betting on you to be very predictable. He's betting on you to try to kill him. And then he, uh, you press your buttons, you think you're going to kill him, and he caps on you anyways. So, the name of the game is Stay Alive, Stop the Cap, and, and Don't Get Capped On Until You Get a Second Person to Help You. So, we're watching here. You can see he's capping, but I am standing. You see this distance that I'm standing? This is the Goldilocks zone. Not too far, but not too close to where I'm going to get capped on. So, you can see <clears throat> right here. I use my soul shape in because it's instant and then immediately as soon as I have the global up I use my in cap I use the soul shape to get in uh, you can use fell rush as well if you're not night fag um, and I instantly uh, use the in cap because it's an instant right uh, throw glaive it has a travel time and sometimes throw glaive will not hit them in time if you have high MS if they have high MS it will not hit them in time and they may still get the cap sometimes. And then you can see right here, what I'm doing is I'm just I'm just kiting away, uh, buying more distance. So I come in when uh, to stop the cap and then I run away. So now you can see I am, uh, he, obviously he, he's gonna step and he's gonna blind me, but I've got trinket, I'm gonna trinket this blind and we are gonna be A-OK. -okay. My healer is already almost here. And we are going to be A-OK. -okay. You're going to have Trinket for the blind here. You just need to make sure to keep the rogue in combat. So, uh, this next scenario, this next scenario here, uh, we went through the scenario where you get sapped on for, uh, you get sapped first, and why not Trinket? 
This scenario is if you're just sitting there and the rogue thinks you're AFK and tries to instantly, tries to cap on you. Now you've got to be careful about walking uh, too close to the flag because he wants to step sap you while you're right next to the flag so that way he doesn't even have to have to worry about your trinket and he's gonna he will get the flag so here's what we do we go uh let me rewind this 10 seconds here oh wait that's the, okay that's the that's the previous clip sorry so again uh right here he thinks you're afk and He's trying to cap on you while without sapping you, without blind, without opening on you, period. Again, he wants to draw you in. He wants to draw you into him so that way he can uh, get a sap on you while you're right next to the flag. So you've got to come in. you got to come in a little bit to that Goldilocks zone right about here. I'm not too close, but I'm not too far away. I can still land something on him. But he is not, um, he is not going to be able to step sap me uh, from there. I'm able to throw something at him, and I'm able to run away, run away. And again, he try, he's trying to bait me in. He's trying to do the same thing. Uh, all I'm playing, it, all I'm playing is the run in, hit him with something, run out. You do not want to get lured into the flag. And so right here, uh, I'm luring him all the way away. And what I'm doing here, this is very valuable to know, I'm buying time. I've already told my he uh, my healer, my peeler, or whoever, hey, I need help, hey, I need help, hey, I need help. So they're already mounted up on their way. Uh, all you have to do, again, is buy time. So me running away like this, I'm just buying time. Uh, I'm able to turn around, and I'm able to stun him. And you see, I'm not going for the kill. I'm just going for CC, right? Uh, stun into stun. And then so I see he's in stealth again. He tries to... Uh, oh, we almost... Okay. I see he's in stealth again. I'm able to use my spectral sight. Uh, but the thing that you need to know about this is all that time that I bought, bought me time for my peeler to get to me. And so now uh, he's going to... blunt. Yeah, he... Uh, can I get it? Okay, yeah, yeah, he's gonna, he was gonna blind me. Yeah, he blinds me, but I've got my healer right there. I've still got my trinket. I am gonna be A-OK. -okay. So for this next clip, this next clip, you can see he's not going for the sap. He's not going for the smoke bomb. He's going right to just open on my face and try to one-shot me. So, uh, very important here. Uh, I wreck it, so it, it, it takes me about, I'm 50%, right? And so I really like this clip because I wanted to show you guys yeah you're gonna have a little bit of reaction time and rogues they do a ton of damage especially uh, my boy twisted over here and so he is uh, opening me I'm at 37 percent I know if I don't trinket I am dead I'm gonna get one shot here so I have to commit that trinket and then again I, since I've been opened on, I've been yelling, healer, get to me, healer, get to me. Um, I, I need to be asking for help. People need to know I'm dying. Get here now. I can't 1v1 this rogue. So I've got to commit my trinket. Uh, I'm using CC. Uh, I, again, I'm using CC. I'm trying to stun. I'm trying to run. Uh, right here, again, I'm buying time. I'm buying time. He's running at me. He wants that step. He's pressing... Um, everything he can I'm using my soul shape and so now here's very important right uh, let me show you right here uh, exactly what I want to show you right okay right here so again I'm at 34 percent I'm still using CC but here's the brilliant part All right here's what you need to know take from this clip is, is that I press I made it on top of the flag and I pressed Immolation Aura. Because by this time, he's realizing, okay, this guy's maybe got cooldowns, maybe I can't kill him, uh, maybe I can try to CC cap him. Well, you get yourself to the center, get yourself to, on that flag because you don't have a trinket, and you press the Immolation Aura, or you do something that's gonna spin him while you're CC'd. Because if you look right here, bam, he blinds me. Right now, I don't have a trinket for this blind, right? If I don't have Immolation Aura up, or if I don't have something rolling, 
he's going to get this cap. My my um, my peeler, uh, the person coming to my base, hasn't made it here yet. But I'm standing on top of the flag, and I have my immolation aura rolling. So you can see, you can see these ticks. These ticks are keeping him in combat for one, so he can't sap me out of the blind. And for two, uh, they are keeping him from capping. So I'm just buying time, I'm buying time, I'm buying time, I'm sitting the blind because I don't have trinket, and bam, by this time, my healer shows up, and there we go. So guys, uh, for this next clip, I wanted to make sure to include another very common tactic that rogues are going to use, which is the smoke bomb cap. Sometimes they'll sap you first, sometimes they won't, um, but you see here, you see that uh, he's dropped the smoke bomb and he's capping in the smoke bomb. He is betting that you don't know what you're doing and that you're going to panic. Now, you guys all need to know, it takes six seconds to cap. Smoke bomb lasts for four seconds. So, if you're at a proper distance, you get yourself to a good distance but not too close to where as soon as that smoke bomb drops, you're going to have about a second uh, it's supposed to be two seconds, but in reality, it's going to be about a second with any kind of delay or MS or anything like that to where you're going to need to spin him. So you can see uh, I'm coming in. I press that emulation aura and right there. Uh, so right there, I'm able to as soon as there we go. Uh, as soon as the smoke bomb drops, I'm able to land the stun on him and I'm able to stop the cap and then now I'm just creating distance and from here it's the same thing over again I have my trinket I have everything he doesn't have bomb okay so this next one is is another a situation that you're gonna encounter a lot during rated battlegrounds you're getting capped on by two people now we're gonna run through this clip um, we're gonna run through this scenario uh, in two different ways um, and we're going to talk about what to do. Again, as a disclaimer with the single rogue trying to cap on me or a single rogue trying to cap on you, this isn't 100%, right? Sometimes you're going to get instant one shot. Sometimes they're just going to have this EC. They're going to outplay you. And sometimes it just you just can't get it. That is a fact of RPGs. Ninja caps do happen sometimes when, you, when it's 2v1. There's just nothing you can do. I'm trying to give you guys the best tools so that that way you are equipped to have the best odds to beat them. So with this clip, um, you can see I'm sapped. So I know there's a rogue there because rogue is uh, rogue's the only person who's going to sap me like this. But I see there's a boomy capping. So I automatically know... I, I, I'm telling my peeler, there's two at the, hey, there's two at this base, there's two at this base, there's two at this base. So, I can't sit this sap. He's going to get it, right? He the, This rogue is waiting. I'm telling you guys, this rogue is waiting for me to trinket this sap. So, you have to have fast reaction time. Again, this is why I'm saying you're not going to get this 100% of the time. You have to know that rogue wants to instantly blind you the moment you press like he he's hovering his finger over that blind button the moment he sees you trinket that sap so you have to know that you have to trinket and instantly put another global so uh if you are hovering over your trinket make sure you've got your other finger over another global to stop the cap so this one has a lot to do with your reaction time so here I'm able to trinket, I'm able to stop the cap, and I'm able to get, again, get myself on top of the flag with immolation aura. Again, they want to CC cap me. He's blind. He's not trying to kill me. They're trying to CC cap on me, but I did what I need to do. I got on top of the flag with immolation aura up. So my immolation aura, if you see, I'm spinning, I'm spinning, I'm spinning. And um, what they're doing now is they realize that I'm not going to be at it. Um, they throw, okay, so they're still trying to CC cap. There's two of them. They're thinking it's 2v1. He already used his trinket. We're going to get this guy. Clone is coming. Um, but 
clone has a DR, a diminishing return. So out of this cheap, he's capping, right? But I am cycloned. It takes six seconds to cap a base, right? I'm, I am in CC there for four. I should be able to get out of this. I don't need to panic. Yep, right there. He's a, he, he, they're trying to root beam. Now they're trying to go in. Now they're now they're thinking, oh, I need to kill him. That's when you need to pot. You need to know, oh crap! Now they're gonna try to kill me. I use my defensives here. I pop my darkness. I pop my blur. Um, and again, I'm still yelling for my healer, my peeler to get to me asap. Right here, I I'm just doing everything I can to live. I press the nether walk as well. I, I got the double stun. I'm trying to get my heals. I'm trying to kite away. And luckily, the cavalry is able to get there. Again, the, 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 the time, regardless of what base you're at, regardless of whoever you're going against, whoever is peeling for you, whether it be Demon Hunter, Priest, whoever, your job is to buy as much time as possible until they can get to you. So you see, I'm able to get here and, okay. So this is gonna be our last, uh, our last clip that we're gonna go over for this. And then I'm gonna give you just a few TLDR, a um, uh, little bit of insights here. This, a lot of people have asked, how do I defend a base as a vengeance demon hunter? Well, here you are. I am in vengeance spec for this, just like before. I am being sapped, so I know there's a rogue here, and they're capping. Again, I've got to immediately have the have the reaction time to trinket and get myself on top of that flag with immolation aura. So trinket, I'm on top of the flag. I'm able to do another leap. I've uh, I get blinded, but I've got immolation aura rolling. Uh, so, like I said, guys. I sound like a broken record here, but I'm telling you, get on top of the flag with Immolation Aura up. And and again, you're calling for the healer, you're calling for the healer, you're calling for the healer, somebody needs to get to you. And then now is just the, okay, they're trying to reset, they're trying to get some CC on me, uh, but I'm a Vengeance Demon Hunter here, uh, I'm able to just sit here and take all of their damage. Uh, I, I'm dropping this, uh, so this is my this is my spin uh, right here. I'm actually anticipating for them to maybe try to CC cap me off of this, uh, maybe some sort of stun into stun into DR clone. So that's why I'm dropping uh, my sigils. Uh, you want to drop your sigils as well because they have a delay effect. So if they immediately try to CC cap you, that sigil's going to go off a second into it. And, and just like that immolation aura, it's gonna be able to spin them when you can't. So, and I wanna let you guys know, if you guys are watching, uh, you guys may, yes, this is a little bit staged, as in I got everybody in a war game specifically for this video to demonstrate it, but my instructions to these two people trying to cap on me to Twisted My Rogue here were, you need to try to cap on me. There's no no pulling your punches. No, oh, I, I I didn't I didn't press blind or I didn't try to. No, they are trying to kill me here. I, I'm a tank, right? I've got almost 70k HP and I'm at 46 percent, right? They are trying to kill me, uh, but I understand that they're trying to kill me. I pop my uh, fell devastation, which is going to heal me up, and then I immediately see, oh crap, convoke. So I, I, I pop my metamorphosis as well. And, and right here, they're throwing everything into me, but I'm using every single defensive I have. I'm peeling. I'm using Illidari's Grasp. I'm using um, my uh, my detain, uh, or not detainment, uh, using my imprison. And guys, if you want to know what spec to be in, you guys can feel free to check out my other, my Vengeance Demon Hunter guide on this video. I do have a, a Vengeance Demon Hunter guide for uh, RBGs. Uh, that will tell you what spec, what talents, and everything to run as well. I'm not going to go into that here. So here you can see I'm uh, I'm doing what I can to stay alive, uh, doing everything I can to stay, and I was able to buy enough time for my healer, for my peeler to get here. So um, just like that, I wanted to make a shorter video, guys. 
uh, I wanted my other videos have been 30 minutes, 40 minutes, so I wanted this to be a little bit shorter. Uh, if you guys like the content, if you appreciate the Demon Hunter stuff, if you appreciate the RBGs, uh, our RBG kind of guide here and how to defend rogues, uh, you guys can feel free to hit that subscribe button. It would really mean a lot to me. And if you guys want to go check out my Twitch, uh, twitch.tv backslash barn door, two O's and two R's, B-A-R-N-D-O-O-R-R. -O -O -R -R. I stream every day. I do 3v3, 2v2, and RBG content as well. Um, guys, until the next video, I will see you. And a big, big thank you. Uh, I definitely can't forget. almost forgot about it here. A big thank you to Mizlac, Monarch, Kickflippy, uh, Wrecked, Warbait, Ariel, A Stroller, uh, Ankanash, Pounce, and Twisted, and Epfar, who is my friend Devil. Uh, thank you guys so much for making this video possible. Without your help, I would not be able to record this. So, I will see you guys in the next one.